Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the monthly forecast for February 2017 for Taurus. Now, those of you that know me know that I do daily readings on here. This is the first time I've done a monthly reading. I've been called to do them, so this is what I'm doing. Please let me know if you like them. I've just done standard spreads here, but I may do different spreads in the future. Basically, these videos are for you, so please let me know how you would like them doing. If you would like me to add anything, if you would like me to take anything out, if you would like me to do them in a different way, like I said, these are for you. So, <coughs> please excuse me, I'm, I'm still fighting off a, a, a bit of a cold, but, you know, here is your reading, Taurus. Um, first of all, Taurus, I feel like this month with you, um, you really feel like you've got to get going and you really feel like you've got to got to be sort of planning for the future here you know it, it, it's like uh, things don't seem that solid at the moment and you're desperately trying to bring in some sort of balance so that you feel more secure within this um and like i say i i, I feel i feel things have been a little bit stuck for you you're, you're a little bit in limbo at the moment as well taurus you know and i feel this could be financially wise as well i don't know if money is there or there might be money there but you don't know what to do with it you know it, it, it's like sometimes when we have a lot of money it's like i should be doing something with it i should be putting it in an ISA or i should be doing this you know so there seems to be worries around around money even though there doesn't seem to be a massive lack of it it seems to be stuck so i don't know if it's tied up or or something something like that. that that's really really strange i was talking to my cousin the other day and i'm just thinking my uncle is actually taurus and she was saying that all of his money is actually stuck in in all different places you know so he can't get to it so he's asset rich and this is what i feel could be coming in here you know it's like you can't get your hands on it but then even if you did i don't feel you would know what to do with it because there really feels to be an energy around at the moment, Taurus, where I don't want to say that you're lost, but I just feel there's there's an element of worry about the future coming in for you. Um, and, you know, I want to say to you, please don't worry because your future is going to be right. But it's like you... Taurus like to do things right. You like to do things properly. You like to do things practical and you like to cross all the T's and dot all the I's. And for some reason at the moment, I just feel like you feel like not that you're letting yourself down, but you're not doing things in the right way. You know, please cut yourself some slack because I've pulled an Osho card as well. And the card that I got is exhaustion. This is not a nice card. You are not a machine, Taurus. You know, you do not have to do everything right all of the time. You know, what I would love you to do with this is take this little bit of money you've got and go and have yourself a holiday, you know, spend, spend, spend like that woman that won the lottery. Because like I say, this trying to do everything right and trying to do everything that society tells you and that other people tell you to all the time can actually get quite, it can get quite exhausting. And I really feel with this, it's like, you know, you don't always have to do things right. You don't always have to be a pro provider. You don't always have to be there for everybody else. Because I feel by stretching yourself this thinly, what is happening is you are actually wearing yourself out. And if this carries on, you will be no good to anybody, you know. So it's, I know... I know that you, you know, this, you feel it's your duty to look after other people, you know, but what this does is this takes away their responsibility for standing up for themselves as well, you know, so <coughs> by doing this, you basically aren't giving them the freedom to learn their own mistakes as well. I'm hope hope this is making sense because I really feel that there's quite a lot of demands on you from other people. And what I'm feeling this month is I really want to free yourself from them as well, you know, and I, I want you to stand up for yourself. I want you to take a lighthearted look at life as well. And I want you to give yourself a month where... You are thinking about you and what makes you happy. You know, maybe even write a list of what makes you happy and make sure that you do at least one of them things once a day, you know, because I just feel you are, it's all about other people with you, especially this, this month, Taurus. And I don't feel you are getting the appreciation that you deserve for this as well. And I don't feel 
that it is making you you happy neither um what i want to look at here is i want to look at your security and where you are feeling security because <laughs> I'm getting in there, I'm getting the Beatles song, it's been a hard day's night and I've been working like a dog, you know, and I just, this is what I'm feeling with this, you are exhausted and it's like, please take some, some you time, you know, I don't know if you like to go to the theatre or listen to music or go to see gigs or read books or whatever, but I am giving you, well, Spirit are giving you permission here to do that. Have even if it's just a day where you are not doing anything because I really feel with this, it's like you're, you're trying to support everybody else and you're trying to keep everything afloat and I feel like your arms are getting tired and I don't want things to sort of crash down around you, you know. Um, I really feel this is putting a massive strain on you and what I feel is, if you know, that you could actually be because you're feeling that worn out, this could actually manifest into physical illness as well, you know, because you're not taking the time for you. Be gentle with yourself, Taurus. This is what is absolutely, like, needed here. Um, what do you do for fun? When was the last time you really had fun, Taurus? Because I just feel here, and, and I'm sorry, you know, I wish this was a more positive reading. I want you to follow your heart rather than follow your head. Because, you know, this is what I'm feeling here. If you follow your heart, uh, I feel that things will flow better. It's, it's not your job to look after everybody, Taurus. This is what's coming on and I want you to see this and, you know, and sometimes you need looking after as well, this, this is what's coming in, you know, but you have this fear of letting people down, you don't want to let people down, and you know, what this is doing is I feel that this is blocking your path in some way at the minute, or oh, uh, Taurus, August I'm getting there as well, August, something very positive and very um, important is going to happen in, in August for you, but at the moment, I just feel like you're between a rock and a hard place. This is it. There's no movement here. But this is because there is too many people fighting for your time and fighting for your attention and fighting for what you can give them. And it, it it's wearing you out. I want you to take, even if you just go for a walk, go for a walk in nature. This is what I want you to do this, this month because you need to clear your head, Taurus, but you need some alone time. You need some you time as well. You know, it is not your job to make sure everybody is all right. And I know you have an open heart, but you know, this is like even an open heart gets drained eventually. And this is what this is doing. It is draining it on you and it has taken away your power. So this is a basically... What I'm seeing here is I want you to protect yourself. I feel like there could be, I hear this term, and anybody that knows my daily readings know I use it all the time, but psychic vampires, and I really don't like that, but there is people sucking the energy out of you at the moment, Taurus, and this is not doing you ever any good, and I feel that if this carries on, you know, you your strength is being zapped on, on, on a daily basis, and, you know, I really feel that nature is, is calling you, you know, it's like you need to have a bit lighthearted time. I don't mean fun. I mean, don't mean going out partying or anything. I don't feel that that is what you need this, this month, Taurus. What I feel is I feel you need to be around nature where something is actually giving you back. When you're in nature, you get something back from it, you know. So whatever you're giving to it, I mean, if you think nature, they take you know, the trees, I always get these two mixed up, you know, what is it, they they give out oxygen and take in carbon dioxide or monoxide or one of them, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not scientifically minded, but it's like go into nature, dump this waste, dump this exhaustion that you have, you know, um, and take back from it, you know, take time to breathe, if you don't meditate, I really feel meditation would be beneficial for you as well, you know, and I just want, I want this little element of, of freedom around you, you know, I want you to start to see that, you know, the future can be bright because I feel at the moment you just feel pretty bogged down. So there's homework for you <laughs> this month, Taurus. Um, and it's, this is about actually like, 
seeing what is it that truly makes you happy. And I don't think you could do it. You could probably say what makes your husband happy, your wife happy, your kids happy, your friends happy or whatever, because you know all of that and you try to give them that happiness. This is about you. What is it that makes you happy? And you may find this very hard because like I say, it's not, it's not usually about you. I'm telling you this month it is okay so this is time to down tools you know down tools take a break take a break away from people you know and take time to replenish replenish and renourish as well because this is what i feel that you might need you might need to take some vitamins as well um they've just brought in their taurus because i really feel it's like i feel like you're a bit like a rabbit in the headlights at the moment you know it's you don't know which way that you're going you're just like right okay what do i do um please please bring some creativity in this is what they're saying even if you give yourself a day where you just watch movies light-hearted movies you know and not feel guilty about it because there seems to be a lot of guilt around you spending time on yourself this month uh taurus and that is not that is not healthy you know if you are not firing on all cylinders then you can't be of help to all of these people and i think the demands that are being put on you um are wearing you out so this is a time when you need to actually say no healthy boundaries are needed here taurus and you need to put them up if people get annoyed when you put a healthy boundary up that's when you you realize where their respect for you stops okay but this is when your respect for you needs to start so this is what's coming in tune in meditate you know take time for you work will still be there you know it will still be there it's still always going to be there so don't feel guilty you know and you can tackle it once you have had time to recharge your batteries because at the moment it's sort of like you are running on empty that's what i'm feeling here taurus you know so i want you to go back to being like a kid again as well where you are doing things for you you are playful you are enjoying time in nature you are enjoying what makes you happy like i say books theater something like that something creative because i think this will it will sort of help recharge you and get your batteries running uh, again I, i don't know who sings that song get the motor running head out on the highway <laughs> what's that song so they're saying to me there even go for a drive get in your car and just drive if you don't have a destination you can't get lost so go to the top of your street and say right left or right and actually just go out for a for a drive you know it's what i'm wanting the the wind in your hair i'm wanting you to feel the fresh air on your face and i'm wanting you to feel you know um how in in invigorating you know just like sort of going off on a little road trip by yourself you don't even have to stay overnight but i really feel this is what is massively called for at the moment you need some new you time once you have this new time then you can come back your helpful love and self but at least you have sort of filled yourself up because at the moment the way things are going i don't feel that you have you're going to have a lot to give other people because you are just you're you're literally depleted this month as well so this month i want you to spoil yourself i want you to think about you you know this is about you you are allowed to think about you and you come first this month rather than rather than anybody else don't worry everybody is secure you are not letting anybody down but you are actually letting yourself down massively at the moment by not giving yourself the self care and the self love that is that is needed so i hope that made sense to you taurus um if anybody would like a reading with me please get in touch uh the link is below for my facebook page and for my website you can book through both of them i do skype readings i do phone readings i do facebook messenger readings i do email readings so whichever way you want to read and i can do that please let me know if you like these videos and please let me know what you would like to see more of in the future like i say this is all a little bit just just trial and error um you know would you like me to go more in depth into things or you know would you like me to I don't know more predictions or, or or whatever but I try to focus on the what's going on now and like I say this is a monthly reading so this was for February so I hope you enjoyed that Taurus uh please take some you time you know it's massively it's massively needed you are the most important person in your life at this at this moment and in this month okay so I'll be back with the daily tarot cards please subscribe to my channel and then you can you can see them and see what you think of them as well um and please let me know if you like these
，OK， 散啊。